What's up guys, CS2 added new audio settings and I don't know what none of these terms mean. So I brought in an audio expert digital who works in audio full time. So digital, can you explain to us what any of this means? And let's start off with the first one, EQ profile. So CS2 gave us three different audio settings for the EQ. Natural is gonna sound the most normal for everyone. That's pleasant. It's gonna be a fun game to play that way. Chris, Gonna ice, it's gonna enhance the mid frequency band. The mid frequencies are harsher, but they carry a lot more information to your brain. Your ears are really good about differentiating sounds in the mid frequencies. So you're gonna hear guns better. You're gonna hear tail flying better. You're gonna hear everything better. It might be a little harsher on your ears though. Okay. They also gave us the smooth setting, which I think is the worst setting overall. It's gonna be a lot more pleasant. Play long sessions with it. You're, won't get tired uh -huh. but you're gonna have a lot harder time hearing everything that's going on on your screen okay so your recommendation for competitive players is crisp but if you're playing like long death matches or long sessions it's smooth i would actually go natural smooth might be the most comfortable but you might lose a lot of information oh, okay for, for the long sessions or or natural in general i would natural for the long sessions oh, okay but chris is the best setting Though. Crisp would be the most competitive setting. Okay, so I'm going to go crisp. Now, what is LR isolation? So LR isolations, CS2 is doing this thing where it merges the sound from the left ear and the right ear. And it's giving this very natural, very realistic kind of sound going on. It feels natural, but it won't necessarily get you as much information as you want. Uh -huh. So what isolating L and R is doing is it's getting rid of this blending that it's doing between the two ears. It's giving you that information closer to the original source. Uh -huh. As you go towards 100, you're going to hear the center go away a lot more, be able to tell where sounds are coming from on your left and right. Okay. You will lose a little sense of forward and back as you isolate more. Okay. So somewhere between 50% and 100% is a good area you can play around what's comfortable for you okay personally leave it at 70. there you guys you guys heard that 50 to 100 test it out yourself but digital uses 70 so i'm gonna go with 70 and lastly well not lastly but perspective correction so perspective correction is something new in cs2 uh -huh. it's uh it's trying to help you determine where sound is in your view i don't think it's necessarily a bad thing but if you're used to csgo mm -hmm. you want to turn that off that is closer to what csgo sounds like gotcha okay i like csgo i have it so if i like csgo sound i put no what are Correct. you what do you are you getting used to the cs2 sound do you have this on or what i've been playing csgo for too long so i have it on off okay Done. okay there you guys heard it and then uh, there's one more option here that wasn't in CSGO, correct? Streamline push to talk, or was it there? Streamline push to talk. I don't know if this was a setting okay. and go, but the way that Windows works is that some programs will want to take control of your audio device to set it to different settings kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So what Streamline push to talk does is it keeps your recording device active, CS2, that way, no other program can steal it away. Mm -hmm. So if another program would steal it, you might get a uh, micro stutter here and there. So you guys want this to have it on, guys. Put this streamline push to talk to yes. And that is the new CS2 audio settings and the best settings recommended by the audio expert digital. Give them a try. Thank you, digital. And here is some examples of that.
Let me know what audio settings you guys are using in the comments below and subscribe for more CS2 guides.